Failure's not an option. What's up everybody, it's Wes, the Suburban Viking. I got my buddy Dave here with me. Man, a few words. We are with, we are from, we are Midgard Axe. And I know you guys are watching because you want a no BS review and I'm gonna give you a no BS review. Hardcore Hammers, Carpenter's Axe. what I think about it? It was awesome, it was awesome. I really had a great time throwing this uh, ax or hatchet. Um, it was great. It flew extremely well. It was very consistent. Single, double, triple rotations. It really didn't matter. It flew the exact same each time. I had no rollover with my wrist. Like I said before, the weight is very evenly distributed because of that pole in the back. So when you threw it, you got a very consistent th uh, throw. It was very accurate. And when you when you got that thing rolling in the air, when it was tumbling over, you know, for your rotations. It wasn't wobbly. It, it, it flew very true. So I, I kind of knew that going in. If you guys uh, didn't see it, go back and watch the initial pressions in video. I did say in that video that I knew this thing was going to fly really well and that I thought it was going to be consistent. And it did exactly what I thought it was going to do. Guys, the bit on this thing is really freaking nice. Listen to this. I mean, it's almost as sharp as it was when I first started throwing it. And I threw this thing for like three hours. I mean, I was tossing this thing hard too. I'm going to walk around to the back of the camera and I'm going to put the uh, bit up to the camera so you guys can see it. Check that out. I've got a little bit of edge rollover right here on the heel. Just a little bit right there. And I got a little bit of a gouge right in this area, guys. But look at that. Check that bit out. 
not bad. Not bad at all for how many throws I got with it. I mean, I probably got close to probably 150 throws, almost 200 throws with this thing, and I was tossing this thing really hard. Uh, I did say in the first impressions video that I did like the contour of or the on, on this uh, edge here. Um, it's really nice. It's very thin, but it has a really nice angle on the bit. And um, I knew it was going to perform fairly well, but I wasn't expecting it to perform this well. It is a thin bit profile, but you can tell that they took attention to detail with the uh, degree in which they did the bevel. And man, this thing held up extremely well. I did recontour the swell down here in the grip and at the knob. It was a little too thick. I did throw it like it came wasn't a big fan of it. It's just the swell down here on the grip was just way too big and it felt like it wanted to rotate. But once I shaved the grip down and I shaved that knob down, it felt extremely streamlined when it was coming out of my hand. It had a very good release. And I'll be honest with you guys, once I kind of shaved it down, it really felt like a council tool handle. And as you guys know, I love council tools handles once you shave that grip and that knob down. So it felt extremely familiar to me once I got it shaved and man this thing flew really nice and as you guys can see here I got tape at the bottom and you're probably wondering Wes why do you have it taped down there on the knob so remember guys at the beginning of the video and in the thumbnail I said failure is not an option it just wasn't an option for this axe and I'll show you why it's not an option for this axe and I'm gonna get into now why this handle broke this handle broke because of me I missed I hit the knob just right just I under rotated it just enough and I threw it so hard that the handle actually exploded when it hit the target and I'm gonna roll some footage in now and show you guys uh, when it happened oh no, I broke it I broke it I broke it And if you can't tell, I was pretty heartbroken when it happened. I was extremely upset with myself. I had been throwing that axe for about almost two hours at that point. Roll, turn the camera on to roll footage. And within like three or four throws, I under rotated the axe. And I caught the bottom of the knob right here. Right, it was just an under rotation. It came in to hit the target, and instead of hitting like this, it was the knob was just kicked towards the target too close, and it caught just right, and it sent a shock wave all the way up and just snapped all the way up here to the axe head. Okay, it's on me. I miss my throw, and like I tell you guys all the time, I don't judge axes based on axe handles. We don't know what an axe handle is going to do. We have no idea. Guys, we just never know what's going to happen with an axe handle. You can get an axe handle that has vertical grain orientation with very little grain run out and it can break extremely fast. You can get an axe handle with a ton of grain run out and 45 degree grain orientation and it can be the best axe handle you've ever had. We just don't know. Remember how I told you guys in the past that I don't like when manufacturers put uh, roll pins through axe heads into the handle and putting holes in handles because it can weaken the axe? Here's an example right now. See how whenever manufacturers drill this hole right here to so you can like hang it up or put a sling or whatever you want to put on it? In some cases, not all, but in some, it can cause weakness in the handle. And as you can see here, this hole right here, I hit this handle on the knob. And as you can see, it cracked right here and went down the handle. And I got a good feeling that it was because of this hole that was drilled right here, okay? It caused weakness in the handle right here. So when that knob hit the target, it split right in this area. It's just, we never know what's going to happen with axe handles, and you guys should be aware of that. Try not to judge axes based on axe handles, because I don't think a lot of the manufacturers even know what's going to happen with the handles, and neither do we. This has happened to me before. It's rare, but it's happened. Most of the time, if I get a split or a crack, you know, it doesn't go all the way up the handle and explode. It, it'll go up the handle, but it'll stop, and it's still connected somehow with wood, and I can just tape it up. Very rarely can you take an axe handle uh, that has exploded like this, put it back onto the head, especially when it's gone up into the axe head, tape it up and keep throwing it, and it still stay hafted on the handle. Guys, this thing is a freaking tank. And failure with this thing is just not an option. 
The Hafton job that was done on this was done very well. It is held true, even splitting from the head all the way down to the knob. The damn head's still on. I could literally throw it like this if I wanted to, and it would probably still would stay on to the handle. So, guys, this thing is extremely robust. It's extremely well built, and um, I just had a great time throwing this thing. Felt good out of the hand. Uh, the bit held extremely well. The weight felt really good. Didn't matter how far I went back or how close I was. I got a very cons consistent throw with it. And guys, it's just a great carpenter's axe. So here's what we're going to do with this axe. I'm going to give this away as a free giveaway. If you want to win this axe, go down in the comment section, write axe. One comment per person. You must be subscribed to me. And then I'm going to give it to one of you guys. Make sure when you put your comment uh, down, you put axe. If you want to write something else after that, that's fine. But put axe as your first word, period, and then say what you want to say, okay? So I'm actually glad that this happened to this handle because I've got a theory that I want to test on this handle. Will it work? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But I'm going to try to repair this axe handle. I've repaired cracks before, but I've never actually repaired a broken handle that has basically exploded. Will it work? I don't know, but I'm going to try and see. Guys, I don't have time to order another handle right now and haft it on this head. I've got a ton of axes to get to, and I've got a lot of content to make. So in, in any event, you'll get an axe head, a great axe head that you can buy a handle for in half, and it'll give you a side project to do. But I'm going to attempt to try to fix it, and then after I fix it, I'm going to make a video of doing that and then throwing it and see if the repair that I make holds up. I will tell you guys that normally I don't fix cracks and all that and throw in axe handles and the reason why is because they're already compromised yes you can do that with a felling and a splitting axe you can drill a hole in it put a wooden dowel with some glue sand it down put wood glue in it whatever you want to do and it should hold up for you for a while but guys throwing axes are different they take way more abuse and anytime you've got a crack in your handle and you fix it I can almost guarantee you that with a couple misses that crack is going to resurface itself again even worse so that's why I normally just replace uh, axe handles on throwing axes because I don't like working with compromised handles. However, I'm going to try something new on this. I'm going to throw it and see if what I'm going to do is going to hold up. All in all, guys, what a great hatchet in any event. If, you, if it doesn't work, what I'm going to do, at least you'll get a great head that you can have to handle on and make it something great. Thanks for hanging out with me and Dave. What a great hatchet, guys. I love this hatchet. I can't wait to get the next Hardcore Hammers uh, axe that I'm going to get. It's going to be great. It's going to be a step up. It's going to be a, like a model above this one. It's got a nail puller in it. It's going to be really cool, so I'm interested to get that one. So come back and watch uh, me throw this axe after I do the repair and see if it holds up. And uh, I really do appreciate all your guys' support. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you got some information out of this. If you were deciding on whether or not you wanted to get a Hardcore Hammers axe, axe uh, so far guys these things look to be great and i had a great experience with this one yeah the handle broke but really guys that's on me i missed and all handles break remember that all throwing axe handles will break at some point in time you got anything you want to say dave of course not i don't judge axes on broken axe handles you guys know that every axe handle on every throwing axe is going to break at some point in time depends on how you throw it and where you hit the target remember that axe handles break but until next time guys See ya. I'm glad this happened because I want to test a theory of mine on... Fuck off me. Damn bugs.